Welcome to this blank corner in my office that I've decided to start filming from. Today we're talking all about character flaws. The different kinds of character flaws, why you need character flaws, how to write a good character flaw. If you've ever encountered a real human being, like in real life, you are probably very much aware of what a flaw is, because people generally have a lot of them. As a writer, it's important that you understand how your character's flaws are going to affect that character's development, how those flaws are going to impact the plot, how those flaws are going to affect the likability and relatability of your characters to your readers. Or not having those flaws affect the plot in the right way are going to make readers less interested in your story and impact the quality of your story overall. Flaws are what make your characters likable and relatable. They are also generally a major driver of a lot of different plot points. Let's begin by talking about the three main types of character flaws. The first type are the minor flaws or quirks. Minor flaws are small behaviors, quirks, or eccentricities that your characters have, like commonly using the word eccentricity. Minor flaws don't generally affect the plot in any meaningful way, nor are they generally worked on or improved by the character. Minor flaws aren't something that the character needs to overcome. Minor flaws mainly serve to add characterization. They make characters more distinct, more relatable, more likable. They also help the reader to more easily differentiate your characters. Minor flaws are often useful for side characters that we don't spend a lot of time with. If you have a side character who is based on a certain archetype, you can add some minor flaws or quirks to that character to help break them out and make them a little bit more distinct than that archetype. Archetype? Archetype. Archetype? Next up are the major flaws. Major flaws are, well, major. Unlike minor flaws, major flaws are an important hindrance that actually affects the character. These are things that negatively impact the character and actually impair their ability to deal with the events of the story. Oftentimes, it is the major flaw that the protagonist must overcome in order to resolve the main conflict of the story. Or in the case of the antagonist, the major flaw is often the thing that leads them to their downfall. The final type of flaws are the flatal flaws. I mean, fatal flaws. Fatal flaws are, well, Fatal. Also referred to as tragic flaws, these are major flaws that eventually lead to a character's downfall. While most of your characters, especially your main characters, are going to have a combination of minor flaws and major flaws, they may not necessarily have a fatal flaw unless your story is a tragedy or a redemption arc. Now that we have those pesky definitions out of the way, let's talk about how you actually go about writing a good character flaw. The first tip is, well, don't forget the damn things. Your characters, 99% of the time, absolutely must have flaws. Minor ones, major ones, possibly fatal ones. This is something that a lot of new writers struggle with. They worry that by adding flaws to their characters, they will make them less likable or less interesting to read about, or when in fact the opposite is true. It is the flaws of a character that often make them relatable, likable, and interesting to read. We generally don't like reading about people who are already perfect, because we're not perfect. Well, some of us. Flaws also need to impact the character in some way. Ideally, this should be driven by the plot. For example, if your character is greedy and needs to overcome that greed, you need their greed to at some point cause them a lot of pain. This could be physical pain, it could be emotional pain, doesn't matter. At some point, the plot needs to kick the character right in the flaws. This brings us to another good point, and that is your character's flaws, or the flaws that they are trying to overcome, need to be meaningful to the plot in some way. If your character's major flaw is that they never stick up for themselves and let other people dominate and control them, but the main plot never puts them in a situation where that happens, 
then your internal conflict and your external conflict are going to seem disjointed and not connected. Lastly, like all elements of a plot, you want to make sure that you show progress that relates to the promises you make in the beginning of your story. You need to establish your character's flaws early on in the narrative so that the reader is aware of them, aware that the character has these flaws, and knows that the character is going to eventually start to work on and hopefully overcome the flaw. I hope this video helped you make your character's flaws a little less flawless. Or more flawless. You get what I mean. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. I post writing advice videos every Wednesday along with various updates and other videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.